Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hi everyone, Bruce sees all here. Again, thank you so much, each and every one of you. There's Venus. Isn't it bright? Thanks a lot everyone for subscribing. It really means a lot. It's everything for a creator to get um, some subscribers and followers. Uh, you know, those who appreciate the research, all I can say is thank you very much. Wasn't Venus bright? It looks like Venus is coming to Earth and is going to land. Well, I won't linger much on this. I did make a good French video. For those of you, thank you, who are following the French channel, you're gonna see some similar similar views on this video. But I do want to talk about a few interesting things. So hey, this, uh, this is uh, two days ago, infrared, by the way. I have to admit to you guys and gals, I've only seen three objects going by um, in a period of four hours filming the sky. So let's talk about two celestial events that are going to occur and one's actually already occurring they're both occurring actually let's start with um c 2019 y4 known as atlas well what is it it's said to be a near parabolic comet yeah guys check it out it was discovered by atlas survey on december 28th 2019 in hawaii i'm not going to linger more on that we're going to talk about more about its destination what it's doing now and how we can see it and they go around the sun. It's supposedly between Jupiter and the sun that it is and was spotted on its way. It's getting really bright, guys, each day. It's currently the second brightest comet of the night sky and is close to the limit of naked eye visibility. So um, as of April 1st, uh, be prepared either with the naked eye and or binoculars, especially with telescopes. We're going to see this bright comet that's going to come into uh, view of the naked eye so people are going to start seeing it and it's comparable to the comet Seki. it's predicted that the comet atlas may reach um several higher magnitudes i'm not going to go through them but uh, here as you're watching objects going by the sun these are large object objects um, we're talking 400 times bigger than earth atlas is that's pretty damn big and um if i'm not mistaken it's 1.1 astronomical units away from Earth, and that was in March. So listen, it's way closer than that. It could be, um, um, I don't know how far it is, but I know April 1st, we should start to see it. And it's approaching seven, um, what's the size of it? Yeah, 720,000 kilometers, my friend. That's how long it extends. Um, more than twice the diameter of Jupiter, uh, or about as wide as the sun about 400 times bigger than Earth. Let's talk about another event where people are talking about a second moon. Um, what are you looking at here on top on, on the screen, my friends, are actually, um, is actually an object with clouds going by in front of it. It was to the left of the moon a year and a half to two years ago that I captured. They were talking about objects in lower Earth, um, unknown. Uh, they weren't talking much about, as much about objects coming around the sun, but in reality, that's, the first place they go, right? The the sun attracts objects out of the solar system that come in from interstellar space like Oumuamua, which we knew uh, left and went back out into the constellation of Lyra. They come on their path, right? And then they, they uh, spurrow back out. And this is what's coming. The comet is going to be so bright, we should start to see it very soon. But again, the second moon, let's talk about that. What's all the hype about a second moon? So a second moon, uh, yeah, uh, well, no, not necessarily. Well, yes and no. So let's talk about what its name is to have less disorientation. 2020 CD3. What happened? This is, first of all, first of all, near Earth asteroid, temporary satellite of Earth. So, yes, it's a temporary big celestial object. They say tiny. Uh, we'll say tiny. It's a small planet if you want. It depends on what, how big you think planets are. But either way, it's pretty big. It's beside earth and beside the moon it was discovered at mount lemon observatory by astronomers so let's talk a little bit about it 2020 cd3 was discovered on february 15th my birthday <laughs> in 2020 and the second moon arrived also on galileo's birthday isn't that incredible 
And yeah, we both share the same birthday, which is two very different intelligent people. It's like, yeah, I'm not smart and he is, but it doesn't matter. February 15th, 2020, CD3. That is the supposed second moon. So it really is an object that's visiting our solar system, even Earth. And at one point, it is supposedly supposed to drift away back to where it came from in interstellar space. Interesting, right? So that there will be no confusion. No, this is not the moon. Well, I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm not showing this to show you that I caught it. I'm showing you that when objects are close to the moon, it clarifies the surface and lights it up. It has to be closer than we think to the moon. Probably what the moon, the second satellite, would look like.